Hi everybody, I just want to quickly record this video and just explain to the guys that I'm betting with the FMB bank feeds what the situation is and why the reason is. Now, see, since the 24th of October, most people that's working on Sage and uh, and I think I heard the guys from Zero as well has been receiving these errors um, to say that um, obviously that the bank feed is not working and normally when you're inside the bank feed, you can go to that little button that says update locking details put in your username and password again and that normally sorts the problem out but now once the people do that they started getting this message over here which says authentication was cancelled for this account so we'll give you a little bit of background where it comes from is F and B or the way that Sage works it normally goes and you put in your bank's login details over here then Sage would go to F and B and then it would go fit the transactions from 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 F and B and then it would import it into Sage. But F and B wasn't very keen on that process because they don't want third parties to be logging into your F and B account for obviously for security reasons. It's probably not the safest thing to do. So if you be started developing the system a couple of years ago where they, they changed the flow of the data so instead of Sage going to F and B to fetch the transactions f and says, no, we're going to set up this thing which they call direct feeds, where you go into your banking and then your bank then sends the data through to, 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 to Sage. So the flow of, of data is in the opposite direction. So I want to show you guys quickly how to fix it because we've had quite a few people inquiring about this thing about the bank feeds that's not working. So the first thing that you can obviously go to your bank and go to the transactions, manage bank feeds, and we'll bring you to the screen over here. Now what you need to do is the first thing is you need to deactivate this bank feed over here because we need to set up a new one. So you'll see that you're going to get a bank screen like this which says add bank feeds and you're going to have to repeat this process. Let me maybe just do the first one. So here we're just going to say accept, you're going to say continue. Once you get over here then you must choose your bank and it's obviously F and B that's giving the problems at the moment. So you're going to choose that one over there. You said that you want to connect your bank feed and then once you get to this screen over here, you can see now it gives you a message over here <coughs> so that you connect your FNB Sage account with the authorization code that is generated from your FNB account. Log into FNB, select business solutions. I'm going to give you guys the process now. So once you log into your bank account over here, um, you can see that there's a little button that says business solutions. So for this account, I've already done set, set it up. But you see the middle one over there says, says bank feeds. So what will then happen is, is at the moment you can see it says connected to Sage. So if you haven't done this part yet to activate this, I think there's a little button that says activate, you need to press the button, then it's going to ask you which accounts you want to link to this one, you're going to select the business banks and bank accounts, I think that screen basically looks like this, to say which business accounts you want to link to to that, and then, then after that you're going to have to say activate, and then there's going to be a message that's going to come to your FNP app, they need to authorize, and then once that is done, they should be able to see the screen of here, and I think initially it says pending, but all it then do is you ask it to generate a new code for you, then you can see that it gives you authorization code. You're going to take this code over here, going to say copy, then after that you're going to go to your bank feed and you're going to paste that code in there, and then you're going to say submit. So then once you've done that, then you'll see it's going to take you to a screen um, and to say which person, which account you want to, to select it or which one do you want to, 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 to link to your Sage profile. So we're just going to say we want to use that one. And then you must just go double check on your banking to see when was the last transactions that was imported. So if your last transactions from the previous bank feed was on the 19th of October, then you need to choose up here that you want to start importing the transactions again from the 19th. Otherwise, if you say the 25th and your last import was maybe on the 19th, then you're going to really miss like a week's worth of transactions so you're going to choose the date that you want to start the importing from. Um, this bank feed was already set up, so now everything is up to date. So I'm just going to start again from today. Then I'm going to say continue, and then you can say finish. Then once you've done that step over there, it's going to give you a screen to say which account you want to link it up. So I'm going to choose an existing bank account, and I'm going to say my FMB account, and then after that I'm going to hit save. So then after that in theory, your bank feed should be working again. So if, let's say for instance, you have more than one bank account, then you need to say add another bank feed. You're going to go back to the same screen over here, and you're going to say continue. And this time you're going to say again your FMB direct feed go through the same screen again. The only thing is you can't use the same code twice, so you're going to have to go back to your to this one over here, say finish, and then after this you're going to ask for a new code again. The new code you're going to put into this screen over here again, and then after that you're going to say which account 
and the same process as what we did just now. You're going to have to just redo that old process again. Um, so yeah, so that's in a nutshell how it works. Um, I think all the guys that's with FMB, whether you're working on say to zero, you're going to sit with the same problem, but that's the, the solution that I can recommend of how to fix it. Because once you do this direct feed thing, like I say, just the data flow changes from FMB back to Sage, so then your banking should be fine. Then just the other thing that you must maybe then just go do is go to your bank and go to transactions and then just go make sure that your bank balance is correct. If it's not correct, then you might just need to go through your bank account itself to see what transactions are missing. Yeah, so remember just to give the video a like, remember to hit subscribe and then um, I'll give you guys any new updates that I can become aware of. Thanks for watching. Cheers.